little weird. Oh, it's man. a little odd tonight because tonight marks the end of the presidency of Barack Hussein Obama. Oh. And whether or not you liked him or voted for him, we can all agree eight years later, it's still kind of crazy that his middle name was Hussein. <laughs> I can't believe he got elected. So, so, so much happened during the Obama years the Great Recession, the Affordable Care Act, that black and blue dress. It was white and gold! We are not doing this again! You're crazy! <laughs> now, I tried very hard to come up with a way to talk about Barack Obama's legacy tonight. But after looking at the scope of his presidency, I realized that anyone who thinks they can sum up the last eight years in a few minutes would have to be a delusional egomaniac. Did someone say delusional egomaniac? Yeah! Wait, wait, who, wait, Jimmy, who's, wait, who is that? It's me, Stephen Colbert, talking to you live from my cabin here in the Mountains of Justice. Is that, you're, you're talking to us from that place you live with John Stewart? Yeah, John, sorry he can't be here, but he's out in the woods right now teaching a wounded moose to read. <laughs> that sounds like John. Now, if I remember correctly, you're not the character I played for 10 years on another show. No. No. How many times do I have to scream that at the lawyers? That's my identical twin cousin, Stephen Colbert. I'm Stephen Colbert. It's easy to tell us apart. He has a birthmark that looks like Mary Kate. Mine looks like Ashley. Come on. Okay, noted, noted. I'm sorry. Well, do, do you think you've got it in you to talk about Barack Obama's presidency? Stephen, my middle name is Got It In Me. <laughs> okay, then uh, I'll step aside. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome conservative pundit. Stephen Colbert. Please have a seat. You deserve it. Because you're the it getters. Well, well, well. At long last, our America hating secret Muslim lead from behind, terrorist, fist bumping, hopey changing apologist in chief is leaving office. <laughs> well, I just got one thing to say to him, and it's tonight's word. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Look, I'll admit, Barack Obama made a few good choices. For instance, he expanded, he expanded our killer drone program. He spied on American citizens through the NSA. He let the Wall Street banks get even bigger, and he never closed Guantanamo. But, folks, <laughs> other than that, I don't want to exaggerate here. Every year of the Obama regime felt like he was strangling a bald eagle with the American flag while taking a dump on an apple pie. That's why. That's why I want to say thanks, Obama. You reminded guys like me what we truly stand for, the opposite of whatever you said. <laughs> Obama said... Folks, Obama said he was born in the United States, so we said he wasn't. <laughs> Obama... Obama said we should save the American auto industry, so we said let it die. <laughs> of course... Of course, opposing everything he said sometimes meant abandoning our own beliefs. Just take Obamacare. He said... <laughs> he said it was going to help people. We said it was socialism, even though we know it was based on Romney care. Still. <laughs> 
throughout everything, Obama was our North Star. You see, folks, whatever. Whatever Obama's position, we knew to point the emotional needle in the opposite direction. You say he expanded civil rights by repealing don't ask, don't tell. I say, just imagine you're a Marine pinned down in Fallujah and your buddy comes to save you, but then you remember he kisses boys? So you say, forget it and join ISIS. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, the president killed bin Laden, you say? Well, I say, I say he hated traditional marriage so much that he sent SEAL Team 6 to kill a guy with three wives. <laughs> but now, now the Obama era is coming to an end. And on behalf of everyone who opposed you, sir, I just want to say, please don't go. Without you, what do we believe? I mean, we had, we had six years to come up with something to replace Obamacare, and the best we've got right now is Paul Ryan going door to door with a tub of Flintstones vitamins. You see, I know Obama wanted to be a transformative president, and he was. He transformed me. And now I have no idea who that is. And now, and now, frankly, without him in opposition, I am scared to be alone with my own thoughts. It's like that song about how fun it is to pave paradise and put up a parking lot. You don't know what you've got till it's gone. So, I know. I know the Constitution says you've got to go, but I will miss you. You were a worthy adversary. You were a leader of vision, patience, dignity, passion and humanity. And it really felt good fighting for the opposite of all those things. <laughs> and with our next president, I think we won. So for the last time, from me, the real Stephen Colbert, I just want to say, thanks, Obama. And that's the word. We'll be right back with the other Stephen Colbert and Johnny Galecki. Stick around.